Hi everyone, this is Nanak here. So welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna introduce you to some zero waste swaps that not many people talk about. And some of these swaps I'm sure you've never even heard about until today. So be ready to get your mind blown because these are some amazing zero waste swaps. So let's get started. So the very first swap is a zero waste earbud. So we've all been using those uh, earbuds with the plastic stick for a long time now. Thanks for the recent uh, plastic ban, the plastic earbuds have been banned completely in India. So thankfully that's out of the way. But that led to the rise in usage of those bamboo earbuds. So those are the earbuds which are supposedly eco-friendly and made of bamboo sticks or even paper like this one. And the thing is, I'm not a fan of this because I'm not a fan of anything that is a single use product. So even if it is supposedly eco-friendly or sustainable, it's a one-time usage thing. I have basically found a great alternative to this product and that is a metal earbud. So I'm not sure if anybody's heard of this product. It's an amazing product and it's a perfect zero waste product for using to clean your ears. So it basically comes in a set of five products that comes in this plastic case. I know it comes in a plastic case and it has a plastic brush to clean, but the products are reusable and can be used for years and years and years. The product is very easily usable. It is very safe to use. It's not harmful in any way. Just like you use a normal earbud, it cleans your ears of the earwax or the dead skin cells. So you just need to make sure that it's uh, cleaned and kept so that it's hygienic. So I think this is the perfect zero waste ear bud. So the next swap is one that I've talked about once before but I still don't see a lot of people using it. It is the rechargeable batteries. So the normal you know disposable batteries that we buy use it for one time then once the charge is done then we just throw it out. But the fact is, it is so harmful if we throw it out like that because it can leak a lot of harmful chemicals including cadmium, lithium, lead etc. which will ooze into our soil, our water and become very harmful to us. So instead of buying multiple disposable batteries every few months, why not just invest in a rechargeable battery and a charger? You just need one charger and a few number of batteries can be reused for a very, very long time. Switch to rechargeable batteries because they are very, very, very useful. So do you remember the big bubble, the boomer? If you're not a millionaire, those were the very popular chewing gums back in the 90s and early 2000s. What are these chewing gums usually made of? Plastic. Polyisobutylene to be precise. And this is a synthetic rubbery material which is then added with plasticizers and other materials to make it chewable. So basically what you throw away is plastic that does not decompose at all. It stays there forever and ever and ever. It just gets dirtier and dirtier and gets into the tummies of other animals killing them. And even if we collect all of them, where do you throw it? Because it's not recyclable by any means. So it just goes to the landfill lying there forever. What is the alternative? Well, we do have an amazing alternative in the market today, which is a plastic free chewing gum. So this is uh, from a brand called as Good Gum. This is not a sponsored video. I just recently uh, purchased their product and tried them out. Honestly, it is no different from the other uh, chewing gums that I've tried out. And the good thing is, there is no plastic in this. There is no plastic, there is no sugar, there is no artificial flavoring. So if you are a chewing gum person, definitely offer this because it is biodegradable. So it does not stay on earth forever. So how many of you know what this is? This is a very, very popular IKEA product. And I got this over six years ago. So this is a lint remover and it's a very, very popular IKEA product. But the thing is, this is made of sheets. The hair sticks to this and then once it's full, you tear it and throw it away. Then you use the next layer of the sheet 
and then the next and the next and the next until the whole sheets are done and then you're left with a plastic body and a roll which is kind of useless i don't think i can even takes it back for reuse because if they did that would be a great option for them to do so overall it's a very unsustainable product and there have been alternatives in the market but most of them have been plastic and i didn't really want to buy a plastic product even if it was reusable finally recently i came across a alternative which is sustainable and reusable and that is a lint remover which is made of metal and wood this is so far the perfect way of getting rid of pet hair this is super effective and it takes off fur from any fabric like this we have shadow she sheds quite enough hair every day so we do need this quite often this is way more effective than this this is a one time thing you just need this once and you're done for a very 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 long time so the next swap is not really a zero waste because the condoms are already biodegradable condoms are generally made of latex which is a natural sap from the rubber tree yes there are uh, condoms made of synthetic rubber but most condoms are still being made of latex i'm going to introduce you to condoms which is made of latex and is also free of harmful chemicals so this is a condom brand which is an indian brand it has no harmful chemicals in it including no parabens no glycerin no artificial coloring because all these are very harmful to us especially to females because we usually tend to have rashes and other infections which is caused by these harmful chemicals in condoms our vaginas are much more sensitive to it than uh, the penis girl please make sure that your partner uses this because these are much better for you and for the environment too the packaging is sustainable is minimal and is not oozing of sexual images i would say if you're looking for healthy sex this is the option for you so those were the not so talked about zero waste swaps for today i do have more of them coming out in different videos in the future so make sure that you stay tuned for them and please comment below and let me know if you knew of any of these items that i talked about today because i'm sure that many of them were very new to you and hopefully it has been an eye opener for you and if you know of any other uh, uh, zero waste items that are not talked about much please comment below and i will research about them and include them in my future videos check out this video over here to find out which are the zero waste swaps that i don't use anymore and also this video over here to find out which are the easiest zero waste swaps to begin with so i will see you in the next video so until then bye bye